In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to animate an object. And if you remember last time, we were using the light, uh, the light table found in the drawing view, and we were using the inks to uh, animate our bird. And I've gone ahead and animated through most of this bird right here, and I've left a few blank to show some uh, tips and tricks on how to more quickly and more efficiently animate your project. So here's a blank frame right here between two other frames, and I can use F and G to cycle between those frames. And so this one's blank. I have the roughs underneath being shown with the light table, but I can also use um, a tool called the onion skin, and right here, this gray and red icon is our show onion skin. If I click it, I can now see two frames ahead and two frames behind as shown by the uh, timeline. So I'm actually going to grab that blue handle and drag it back one and drag the, do the same thing to the other side. So now I have two different colors and then the rust underneath. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn off the background so I can see what I'm looking at. So the gray is our roughs. The green is our future frame, and the red is our previous frame. So with the onions getting on, I can actually, with the aid of the roughs, find a middle ground of where I want my drawings to go. Let's see. For example, we have the green right here, and the red right here, and the gray is the middle. So I can see where I want to draw my line. And I can use these roughs to kind of get a good idea of where the middle really is, if that's how I want to time it. Go ahead and clean that up. There we go. And like I showed when I first turned it on, you can actually go way ahead in the future or way behind to see where your animation has been and help you get a better idea of where it needs to go. And as you saw when I drew that those lines, it actually filled in that frame. There was a gap there before, and now there is actually a frame there. But what if you have one drawing and you want to hold that drawing, like as seen here where this drawing does not move for a while. Let me turn the onion skin off there. You can see that this drawing never changes because it's all one solid block of uh, the frame. To do that, there are a couple ways you can do that to extend this frame out to fill. I've already had my drawing here on this first part of the frame, but I want to extend it out to stop right before 30. One way I can do that is by extending the exposure. I can do that by either right-clicking and going to extend exposure here, or I can hit F5, and that will automatically do it. I'm going to undo that, actually, so I can show you the other way which is in your uh, time, uh, timeline toolbar, which if we right click on a gray area, we can see that the timeline view toolbar is indeed there. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the very, I'm going to select these frames, and I'm going to click on this icon right here, which is the fill empty cells. I click on that, and now those empty cells are filled with the previous cell before, um, right before the selection. So now that entire group is filled in. Now an important thing, let me zoom out here, turn off my roughs. The important thing about this animation is that if I play it in the drawing view, I can see the ticker is moving, but I can see nothing is happening. And that's because the drawing view will not animate for you, but the camera view will. So if I go ahead and bring this back to the front and start it again, you can see that indeed my animation does animate now. And you notice though that it pushes back, even though the scene it stops at 60, our animation stops at 39. And there's a way to view your animation so that it stops at that point and you can control uh, how big an area you want to actually watch, view the animation. So we're going to go ahead and in the timeline view, we're going to use this toolbar right here, and we're going to tell it to stop on the ticker which is at 39. So now my stop is at 39 and my start is at 1. I'm going to go ahead and loop the animation and play. 
And now we can see our animation moving. We've got the one blink in there because we have one frame that actually isn't drawn all the way through. And if you are doing this animation and you decide you don't, you'd like to move ahead a little bit faster and you don't want to uh, draw all the frames in from the bird, from the hawk ruffs, you can go ahead, and I've already done that for you here. I've got a partially completed one and an, a fully completed one. You can just drag the hawk inks over from your uh, library view and drop it onto your timeline view. If I turn this off, we should have our full animation.